Thanks for joining us tonight. Our big story, a mystery unfolding five years after an Arizona woman winds up dead on an African hunting trip with her husband. He told investigators that she accidentally shot herself. Now he is under arrest, accused of murder. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us tonight with the developing details. Hi, I'm Larry Rudolph president of Safari Club International. This is Larry Rudolph back in 2010, a dentist living in Pennsylvania at the time with his wife, Bianca, the two avid hunters, and in 2012 moved to Arizona. In 2016, they would embark on a hunting trip that would be her last. The couple going to Zambia, and at the end of their trip, Bianca was shot in the chest with their shotgun. Rudolph telling African officials she accidentally shot herself when packing her firearm into its case. Her death ruled accidental, but red flags were raised at the time. According to a federal indictment, officials told the FBI Rudolph was angry photographs were taken of her body. He paid cash to speed up the cremation process in Africa, and Bianca's friends reported he had been having an affair. Less than a month after her death, he began claiming her life insurance policy, cashing out close to $5 million. Since then, county property records show Rudolph has been living in a multi-million dollar mansion in Paradise Valley. But in December, five years after her death, authorities arresting him, charging him with murder. There's always difficulty when you don't get to do your primary function that you're trained to do, which of course is to examine a body. Rebecca Shu is a forensic pathologist, analyzing the report made by a Colorado medical examiner who used photos and documents to determine Bianca's manner of death. One of the questions that always comes to mind in an instrument that is larger and longer is whether or not the individual really could do it themselves, do it to themselves, because these objects are, they're long. The medical examiner concluding it would have been nearly impossible for Bianca to reach the trigger of the shotgun herself. In a statement to the New York Times, Rudolph's attorney denying all allegations, saying he looks forward to his trial where he will demonstrate his innocence. And right now, Rudolph is being detained in Colorado, but his attorneys have filed a motion to get him moved back here to Arizona, closer to his home. We're in Paradise Valley, Bianca Bono, 12 News.